Hi, my name is Chika Salimdeho. I'm from Manado, a town in Sulawesi, Indonesia, and I'm 20 years old. Uh, graduated from high school and attended a missionary training school called YWAM Youth with a Mission. I come from modest family. My father, um, ever since he struggles with diabetes, he has not able he has not been able to work so much. So I wanted to help my my family. Then I pray to God that I can find a job that will allow me to earn enough money for for supporting for support my family but also I ask him to give me a job that I can I can still be a ministry work because I really love ministry so I don't want to lose my ministry then my friend introduced me um, about compassion first and then also I have the other friend that introduced me um, to compassion first and we went together for interview but I was hesitant to interview for a job at the beginning because I know that I, that I had no work experience and I was so very young but when I accept when I when I when I get the job um, when I get um, yeah, the job in compassion first. I, I feel like it was, it was a, it was such a blessing that I got the job, because before I never thought that that I can, I can get the job. Like I said before, so I am the youngest staff members of compassion first Indonesia until now, and then three. Three years ago was the first time I was diagnosed with this heart condition. I was unable to perform the simple day-to-day -day task without feeling extremely tired to the, to the bone. And my doctor said that I had to have surgery, but you know, there is no way there is no way we will be able to afford it. So I went, I went on with my life, struggling to move from task to task, working, serving the Lord, um, doing my ministry, just you know, just doing my part. Because I know when I trust in Him, when I, when I um give my whole life to him i believe that the lord will do be, the lord will do his part in me so i just um doing my you know just took my my uh my day but my condition my condition continued to worsen that I had to stay at the hospital, especially before I came. Um, I stayed in the hospital, bedridden for almost a month. And I can say that it was the lowest point of my life. Um, I was not feeling sorry for myself, but I was very sad for my family because I was a burden to them. Um, I was ready to give up. Perhaps I was better off if I die, I thought. Uh, every time when, when I feel, feel something pain in my, in my heart or um, like I feel weak, I feel, I feel, you know, 
I feel no good in my body. You know, I never, I, I never ask him uh, for a miracle, and I never ask the Lord for for healing because in my life I believe about the best from the Lord. So everything that I have, I believe that uh, that's come from from the Lord from God so everything that comes from God those are the best for me even though I have disease I have um, bad heart condition but I still believe that God never never leaves me alone and I still believe that everything every best thing or good thing that come from the Lord so I never ask um, a miracle or something I just I just I just thankful for God in every in every time I feel pain I feel bad I just say thank you so much God so but when I was in in hospital before I came um, yeah I feel like I feel yeah like I said to you it was the lowest point of my life but at the same time I was reminded I was reminded for the work that still that still needs to be done in my ministry and I thought about I talk about compassion first clients and also the church works my family and etc so much still needs to be done then you know what that is when I heard when I heard God's voice God spoke to me he said a miracle will will happen a miracle will happen and uh, I say I say to, to him yes Lord I believe you I trust you uh, whenever you every time that you 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 speak to me I, I always say I believe you I trust you because you you are my God but how exactly what are you going to do you know I was confused at the time what what is she going to do? Then just a day or two after after he had spoken to me, I had the I don't know why, but I know that I had United set in my mind for no obvious reason. Little did I know at the time that within less than a week I was going to to be in the in the United States and I received email that a heart surgery uh, will be donated and that I will be on my way to the States it was a miracle that I, that everything went so smoothly and so fast uh, my visa passport everything went so so fat and so easy um so uh, i had the surgery done and slowly but surely i i started to feel much better i was able to do simple simple day to day task i started to feel normal and also, I did some compassion first um, Indonesia work while recovering here and stayed in touch with compassion first Indonesia staff and clients also, even though just by Skype or email. But I am happy whenever I talk with them. I we sharing together and just make a joke together. Um, I feel like they give me spirit and they 
they give me support they give me strong so yeah they are my you know my inspiration I can say that so every day is a new day and I feel better and better I get better in every day so what a what an extraordinary thing God has done for me. I had never thought I would uh, receive such beautiful, amazing miracle. And words or my language cannot explain how, how grateful I am and cannot explain how, um, how great of oh my God, how beautiful is He. And I cannot understand the wonder he has made, but one thing that I know for sure that my God and also your God is faithful and just and that his love his love is unfailing. So all I need to do is to be faithful in serving him. Just to be faithful in in ministry that he gave me and faithful in serving him also to to have a heart that loves him purely not because what he can do for me or for you but um yeah but for the sake for the for the sake of of loving of loving god uh i will do what he has he has done for me to the others did i say to god that i want to share um or i want to do everything that he has done for me to to the others people especially for for our client um that he gave for us and also he had saved he had saved my future and gave me a better future saving my life so as it has has been done to me and i will do to to the others he has given love um so i will also give love to the others whatever it takes in every ways i i willing to do so I can bless the people with my life and the last part is um, myself and on behalf of Compassion First I want to thank I want to thank every single one of you uh, who has heard God's voice and offered your hand uh, over your hand hands to 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 help in so many ways um, you know you have been God's instrument of this amazing story and you had made this possible and successful so I'm so really thankful I I say thank you so much for your willingness to help us also especially for supporting supporting me in every ways um, I trust that God I cannot I cannot um, give you something or any, anything um, but I know that God will give you everything so keep praying for us for me and also compassion first in here or compassion first in Indonesia our clients our program and um, all things that we need so yeah you know we still need your support in every way even though just by prayer uh, I, I think it's more than enough for us your prayer your support um, really helpful for us so thank you so much and my God will bless you